what is up you guys okay so I'm doing a video today on um, my mental health crisis because I um, for several years um, went through a period of suicidal thoughts um, and all of that was based upon uh, childhood trauma so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the childhood trauma I'm sorry this is really hard for me um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the childhood trauma that I went through and then um, I'm gonna talk a little bit um, after that about um, ways that, you know, um, maybe if you're going through trauma or something like that, or maybe, you know, if you're going through a period of suicidal thoughts or depression, severe depression, mild depression, whatever the case may be, um, give you some tips and pointers on how to, you know, maybe overcome those feelings and those thoughts. So, um, from the time I was a little kid, um, I suffered a great deal of physical, emotional, and sexual abuse, right? Um, starting from as, from my recollection, um, from what I can remember, the first time I can remember is whenever I was six years old. Um, I'm not going to get into details of what happened, but we were in the truck, me, my uncle, and my father, and my brother and sister, and um, everybody went inside. My uncle was pumping gas. I was in the truck eating hot Cheetos because... Of course, I love hot Cheetos. And, um, and uh, you know, my uncle proceeded to touch me inappropriately. And um, my father, you know, he came back into the truck. And, of course, I was scared to say anything, you know. And so whenever I got back home to my mom's house, because that's where we were headed, um, I ended up telling her, you know, what had happened. I was like, okay, you know, mom, you know, this happened, you know. And I was extremely afraid to do so but I did it anyway because I was like you know I don't know you know I just I, I told her um and she immediately you know hopped on it she was like okay you know we need to get on the phone you know she got on the phone with my aunt which is my uncle's husband and you know so on and so forth um she called my dad and then um my dad got on the phone with me and he told me he said um you know, I told him what happened. He asked me what happened. I told him what happened. And he said, well, you know, that's, that's, they were just playing, you know, and he was just playing. It's, 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 you know, it's normal, you know? And so, um, and so then of course I believe that, right? Because my dad told me that, you know, these things are normal. So, um, you know, I didn't think anything of it. My mom asked me after that, she was like, okay, you know, what do you want to do? You know, do you want to, you know, like press charges against them or whatever? And, you know, I didn't know what that meant at the time. So she had someone explain it to me, um, a lawyer. And, you know, I told her no, because, um, you know, I'm only six years old, right? And, you know, of course, I mean, you know, my dad told me it was normal. So I was like, okay, well, you know, it's, it's nothing to worry about. And um, in my six-year-old mind. And so from that point on, um, it just got worse you know it was it was not only that uncle but then it was uh another one and another one and another one and another one um five in total um and it was just constant 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 sexual abuse um from the time i was six years old to the time i was about uh 12 and um as a result of that i became very promiscuous right um i developed these these insatiable if you will um sexual desires right that that you know caused me physical harm you know as as a result of you know the trauma that I went through at a young age in addition to that I also suffered um a lot of physical abuse from my father uh, my mother as well um because you know she suffered a lot of abuse and trauma both of them did they suffered a lot of abuse and trauma as children and so they didn't I guess they probably didn't know what they were doing as parents um <laughs> clearly and so they were just doing what they thought was normal I'm, I'm assuming um <clears throat> however that doesn't excuse the behavior right because I mean you know it, it really messed me up you know mentally and so um for several years you know, after all of this, you know, after all of this trauma and physical abuse and emotional abuse, um, I mean, and it was, it was bad, right? Like it was to the point where like my teachers would call CPS and, and things like that. And I would have to go to school and lie, you know, I would go to school with black eyes and they'd be like, what happened? And I'd say, oh, I fell or, you know, something like that, you know, um, it, it was bad. 
you know, um, from the time I was a young age, you know, my dad, he would call me like, you know, the F word, you know, and, um, you know, things like that. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to get into all the other things he said. He, he said a lot. Overcoming that was not easy and it's still not easy like i'm sure you can tell <laughs> just by me talking in this video like you know I'm, it's, it's, it's bringing up feelings that um of like anger <laughs> you know i'm just getting angry thinking about it all over again because it's just like you know wow one of the reasons i moved to new york and then now la um is because of the fact that everywhere I went right or every everywhere that I went or go in in Texas you know that I know um has trauma attached to it you know what I'm saying there's some sort of trauma and um how I have moved on oh my god how I have moved on from that is I've determined what my triggers are right so I've said like okay you know this certain smell you know, makes me think of that, or, you know, this certain, you know, if I, if I, if I look at this, or if I watch that, or if, or if, you know, if, if I hear this specific sound, or this song, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, that, that triggers me, right, it, it sends me back into, you know, the, these, um, dark, depressive thoughts, so my advice to you would be, um, if you're, if you're going through something similar to this, um, or if you have been through something similar to this and you're trying to figure out how to overcome, you know, um, depression or suicidal thoughts or anxiety or PTSD, because PTSD is a big thing. Um, my advice to you would be to determine what your triggers are, determine the things that, you know, send you into those thoughts and, you know, cut that, cut that stuff out of your life, right? You know, that, that stuff is not good. Um, for your mental health, um, especially if, you know, like me, you know, you developed as a result of, of sexual, sexual assault, sexual abuse at a young age, you know, uh, promiscuous or um, insatiable desires that, that could harm you, you know, physically. And in addition to that, um, especially if, you, if you've suffered sexual abuse, because one thing I've noticed about myself is that I developed a sense of codependency, right? So like, you know, I'll meet someone and, you know, I'll have a desire to have this person in my life or I'll have a desire, you know, or, or an idea of who this person is or should be to me, right? And whenever I find out that that person is not, you know, what I want them to be, you know, it, it hurts, you know what I'm saying? And um, you have to be careful with those kinds of things because if you develop an attachment to the wrong person right and you and you develop you know a sense of trust with this person and you know they're really not worthy of your trust or and you decide hey you know I'm going to trust this person or entrust this person with um, you know my thoughts right you know with with you know that side of me you know because I feel like I can um, what tends to happen is those people will take advantage of those thoughts or um you know maybe they their intentions are bad for you in the first place and they will use those thoughts against you or you know they will act upon them and you know in some cases especially if you know your desires sexually are harmful or you know can be harmful towards you um you know that's that's not good because you know you could you could really you know get messed up physically um you know or even lose your life in some cases and so one of the things i found helpful for me um in terms of that and um you know mental health um you know becoming independent um you know emotionally right physical health you know um overcoming depression and suicidal thoughts um dealing with those insatiable sexual desires um is you know just kind of talking about it right um for me um i don't necessarily talk about it much um i'm just saying that as as like a uh, hey you know maybe you should talk about it but um 
for me, it's more like meditation. Sometimes I do yoga. Um, you know, I'm kind of into witchcraft, so I do like, you know, incantations and things like that. Um, you know, nothing against anybody else, you know, who's, who's a different religion. You know, if you pray, you pray, you know, to whatever God or entity, you know, that's, it's awesome. But, um, you know, whatever helps you, you know, the, the, determine the things that make you happy and the things that, um, help you, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I think that, um, that, that you should, you should be fine. Um, for me, um, whenever I was young, um, as a result of my, uh, sexual assault, um, and sexual abuse, even, even the physical abuse, um, and this is actually very common, um, for people, for people to do, um, I developed an, an alternate personality, right, um, who's, who's a girl, her name is Jasmine, and, um, she, in a sense, took the pain, right, so, like, she, you know, during, during my sexual assaults and sexual abuse, I would, I, I would feel like, like I, like I wasn't in my body, right, and, and I would imagine, and this is, hard for me to talk about I would imagine like I was somewhere else you know what I'm saying like okay you know I'm, I'm I'm in you know France right now you know what I'm saying or you know I'm on the beach you know what I'm saying anything you know somewhere beautiful somewhere nice you know what I'm saying and what what happened is when that alter alternate personality was developed it's it's like a it's like a mind trick that your brain plays on itself right so like the memories are blocked some of them you know what i'm saying um and you know they come back you know they they do you know in dreams they come back um you know whenever i like i said you know my triggers you know if i if i smell a certain thing or if i if i see a certain thing or if i hear a certain thing you know what i'm saying um it you know it, you know, it, it brings up memories, right? And, and you know, the PTSD and the anxiety starts coming up and, and it's it's really bad. But, um, you know, I've, I've learned, you know, over the course of 24 years of my life to, to kind of deal with it in a, in a, a, a positive way here recently. Um, I'm just now coming out of, coming out of, out of, um, you know, the, the, the severe depression and the suicidal thoughts and things like that you know, it was, it was really hard because, you know, on top of all the sexual abuse, you know, you get, you know, your parents telling you, you know, you're, you're never going to be anything, you know, you're never going to do anything in life, you know, stuff like that. And it's just like, wow, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, it's, it's almost like you have like a lack of love, you know what I'm saying? Or you feel like you have a lack of love. And then whenever there, there are people who show you genuine love or who, who, um, you know, try to show you, you know, genuine kindness, you don't know how to deal with it, and you almost reject it, you know, and in some, in some cases, you do reject it, because you, you, you're not used to it, and you don't know what that feels like, you don't know what, what, um, what someone actually caring about you, or someone actually loving you, or someone actually just showing you genuine, pure kindness, you know, um, feels like, or what that even looks like, you know, and so you think that, man, you know, maybe they have, um, a, you know, a motive, you know what I'm saying, or a bad intention, and so it's like, you know, there's a lot, and I'm just, I, I know I'm kind of all over the place, I had, I had it all organized, but it, this video is really hard for me, um, but I know it'll help someone, so I want to go ahead and put it out there anyway, um, and I'm also going to leave some links in the description box below, and also, um, I will be doing another video tomorrow as well, discussing a little more. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video right here. Um, not only because this video is hard for me, but because um, it's kind of unorganized. and it, it, it didn't go how I wanted it to go. It just, it just didn't. But um, <clears throat> I hope you guys have a great day. And again, I will be leaving um, some links in the description box below to some mental health resources. Um, and in hopes that, um, you know, you guys can, um, you know, use those. Um, I hope that this video, um, if you can identify with, with some of the things that, that I've gone through, I hope that this video, um, you know, really helped you determine, hey, you know, <clears throat> this is, um, maybe these are the steps I need to take, or maybe this is what I need to do to kind of, um, to kind of help me move forward, or, you know, to kind of, you know, pull myself out of, out of, 
out of that place, right? Because you know, at, at the end of the day, you have to pull yourself out. No one, no one can pull you out of out of that um, out of that mindset or out of that state of mind. You know, um, you have to pull yourself out, and and it's not easy. It's very very hard. So um, I'm gonna be doing more videos like this. Um, I'm doing a three part series. So tomorrow I'm gonna be talking about a little different stuff. This today was more like you know my story and um, what. <clears throat> You know what happened to me at a young age of course i'll go deeper into that tomorrow um, i'm going to take some time to uh kind of collect my thoughts um because this video is really hard and it, and it did bring up a lot of stuff that um uh, that i um that i've kept inside for a long time and so i think in a way that this video is also going to help me heal um and it's something that i can definitely look back 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 on whenever um whenever i'm feeling down and stuff as well so Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, if you're going through something, um, talk about it. Um, meditate, pray, whatever you decide, you know, whatever you do, you know. Um, and, um, yeah, um, <laughs> have a great day, guys. Love y'all.